This is SJW's Attack with a quick story for March the 27th, 2017. The quick story for today is about the recent changes to YouTube's AdSense Terms of Service and potential changes down the road that could affect content creators. Recently, YouTube has made changes to their Terms of Service affecting AdSense and those using AdSense across their platform. Those who have been around YouTube for quite a long time and don't even use AdSense have started blowing the whistle about the recent changes indicating that it could mean a dramatic shift in the way YouTube operates and the way they handle content creators, especially those who are voicing opinions that are outside the mainstream. The crux of the argument coming from companies like Google and others is that they view certain content as hate speech and thus believe it should be disallowed on their platform. It would then follow suit that those consuming that content must be advocates for such hate speech and a bigot in and of themselves for having agreed to view it in the first place. If that's the case, then what value is their view when it comes to advertisers? Is there some magic metric used in economics which weighs the value of the pure against the tainted when it comes to disposable income? If you had a modest channel that generated 2 million views per month on the content you produced, is that of less value to an advertiser than a smaller channel which only generates 200,000 views per month simply based on your political or social viewpoints? Does that not seem counterintuitive? And they've already weighed in on it and then pointed out it seems like this demonetization spree they went on before primarily is hitting people whose opinions really aren't that out there. They simply don't fit in with sort of the left centrist spectrum. But here it is, it's going to go further than that. Do you think that if you're a communist, waving a communist flag, that a lot of these corporations are going to want to continue giving ad revenue to you? If you simply don't look, you know, physically, uh, if you're not a 10 out of 10, you don't look like you're advertising for Abercrombie and Fitch or something like that, do you think that there are corporations who might decide not to serve you ads because they simply want somebody more attractive associated with their brand? YouTube's going to give them the right to do this. Now, they're a private business entity. That's fine. AdSense is at will. And you have to understand, when you signed up for AdSense, under their terms and conditions, they can change that TOS at any time, with or without notifying you. They don't have to. You're reliant on Google for a paycheck. Well, when you rely on somebody for a paycheck, you become subservient to them. Therefore, there are people that are, sub ultimately, they're subjugated to Google. They're subjugated to YouTube and to the whims of, now, these corporations, which means they have a hell of a lot more bosses that they have to answer to. YouTuber Harmful Opinions also pointed out today that we should be keeping a watchful eye on YouTube, but that we also need to avoid those who would try and earn money off of this as some sort of conflict. But I'm a little worried, with all the doomsday prophecies accompanied by calls to give creators cash floating around, that if I don't say this, some people are going to give me money, or, like, buy a shirt, because they feel like they're obligated to, because YouTube's cheating me out of money or something. You know, not because they like the shirt and want one. And I worry about that, because some of the shit I've seen, the digital panhandling, makes it sound like you guys need to fund soldiers for a war against the evil forces of old media, otherwise the end times will come. I think that sort of line is a sick manipulation tactic, and I really don't want to even passively benefit from any of that. So I had to make this video, just in case, to make sure it is known and it is clear that I am not on board with that story. Now, there are some potential dangers related to monetization changes, but that's mostly down to the likelihood of YouTube rigging its own system in favor of ad-friendly content and actively suppressing anything else by hiding it or by other methods. As a new channel that's still trying to find my footing, I've only experienced a handful of demonetization so far, and all of them were either quick stories that were focusing on political occurrences that were happening or my one social justice warriors attack video on rape culture which featured some cutting that could be interpreted as promoting violence i suppose uh, i don't actually know if it was that particular way i cut that 
or if it was because of the rape culture content in general. I would be surprised if it was because of the content in general, but we'll have to see. Maybe in the future I'll do another one. They didn't demonetize my locker room talk video, though, or my uh, Ashley Judd talk, which both were I thought were more inflammatory than the rape culture video. So I don't know. So far, the, the demonetization thing to me seems a little bit strange. But it is really affecting some channels. I do also agree with Harmful Opinions that we shouldn't be so focused just on YouTube, but we should also be casting an eye on those who would try and profit off of it as a conflict. But I do also think we have to be a little bit wary of YouTube. And as such, I've taken the advice of Hex and Hammer 666, who advised to create a vid.me channel. I have one of those now as well. And I've also been taking steps to demonetize my channel. As of right now, all my new SJW's attack videos will not be monetized. Uh, most of my quick story videos won't be monetized either, it looks like, because they're going to demonetize any of them that have to do with politics or anything that seems to be happening in global affairs. So those probably won't be monetized anyways. Uh, and the only ones I'm going to keep monetized for now are the... SJW view ones and the cut ones um, but again in the future those will probably come off as well it just depends on what's going on I don't really care so much I'm just more doing it as an experiment anyways a anybody has any thoughts on anything let me know in the comments uh, I've got links to Sticks Hex and Hammer, Mr. Medicare, as well as Harmful Opinions below I've also included links below that to channels that Sticks Hex and Hammer has promoted which are also supporting this effort to try and band together to watch out for the YouTube demonetization policies and and things like notification tampering that YouTube's been engaging in recently.